Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to understand about the two most commonly used terminology in the power electronics that is the volt second balance and the ampere second balance. So we will understand what is the ampere second balance in the capacitor and we will also understand what is the volt second balance in the inductor so volt second balance in the inductor and the ampere second balance in capacitor so let us understand let us say that the the voltage across inductor is vl okay and the current flowing through inductor is il and the inductance value itself is l so what is the volt second valence so volt second valence says that in steady state in the steady state condition the acquire acquire can not support average voltage across it across it what does it means that uh, the volt second balance says that in the steady state condition in the steady state condition a coil cannot support the average voltage across it that means that means v l Everest equals to zero. What does it mean that VL Everest equals to zero? So you can write it in other term. So in steady state condition, a voltage, a voltage, a voltage across inductor inductor is zero so in the steady state condition a voltage across inductor is zero that is that is what the volt second balance says that that is what the volt second balance says that and uh, if you if you draw any arbitrary waveform let me draw its arbitrary waveform over the time period of t over the time of period of t so this is again a arbitrary waveform so don't think about that this is again a some kind of arbitrary waveform okay and uh, let us say that this is the voltage across inductor vl and this is the voltage across this side the voltage across inductor is minus vl and this is gonna be t on time and this is gonna be let's say t of time and the total time period is let's say ts the total time period is ts and if you apply if you apply the area under curve the area under curve is this the area under curve is this the area under curve okay and if you take the area under curve if you take the area under curve that means from 0 to total time period ts the voltage across inductor vl into dt equals to 0 and this vl stands for volt and this dt stands for second that is it why it is called the volt second balance and uh, if you want to further simplify this terminology so you can further simplify it how you can further simplify it so 0 to t on vl into dt plus t on to t of minus vl into dt equals to 0 equals to 0 and this is this is your average voltage across the inductor v l a b g okay this is volt average voltage across 
inductor okay so if you apply the volt second balance in the inductor it says that a voltage across inductor is zero the average voltage a average not a voltage a average voltage across inductor is zero vl average is gonna be zero average voltage across inductor is zero and that is how you can understand and if you now talk about the ampere second balance this is also important as important to understand this is ampere second balance and the ampere second balance says that the the average current average current across the capacitor capacitor is zero average current across the capacitor is zero and let's say the current flowing through the capacitor is ic and the voltage across the capacitor is vc and if you try to find out the average current across the capacitor ic average equals to zero ic average equals to zero and that is what the m second balance is ic average is equal to zero and this is the m second balance says this is all about the m second balance and again if you draw some arbitrary signal here like we have drawn in the volt second balance some arbitrary signal okay okay let's like this this is the t on this is the t off and this is the total time period t and let's say let's say the area under curve let's find the area under curve now this case the area under curve is this this is your area under curve this is your area under curve and this is the ic positive ic current and this is your negative ic current ic minus okay and if if you apply the ampere second balance here how you gonna apply the ampere second balance so average current across the capacitor is zero so you can write here the area under curve zero to ts let's say this time period is ts zero to ts i c average i c average equals to zero and this i c average into dt okay let me erase this i c average into into dt into to dt equals to zero and this is your amp ic average in amp and this is in second that is why it is called the m second balance and this is basically what this is basically your ic average this is your ic average and if you further simplify this zero to t on ic average dt plus t on to t of minus ic average dt equals to zero and this talks about the m second balance in the capacitor that means the average average current across the capacitor is gonna be zero okay so hope guys you have understood the basic terminology of volt second balance which is apply which applies in inductor and you have also understood about the capacitor m second balance okay volt second balance in inductor and m second balance in capacitor if you have any doubts on this feel free to ask me in comment section thanks for watching this video